So there's a lot of images coming out of uh, Notre Dame Cathedral burning. Let's look at some of it. I want to jump right in. Did the we, we, I'm trying to rule out arson. Did was it a yellow vest hit? Was it a Muslim terrorist hit? Or was it an accident? Those are the three options, right? So this is what it looks like. There's plenty of imagery going down. All right. So there is some evidence surfacing. Yesterday I had said, tried to make a comparison. Yellow smoke, by the way, someone points out that uh, could be an indication of an accelerant. Yellow smoke, yellow vest, I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, plenty of damage to this um, cathedral. It burned out all of the uh, stained glass all the art is, they try, They say they, they salvaged some of the art, but uh, for the most part, the stained glass and uh, stuff got burned down. Absolutely repairable. Uh, but uh, did Arabs, did, <laughs> did Muslim terrorists burn it down? Well, there is some evidence to suggest it. I'll get into it in a second. Um, these, are some of the, these are some of the final photographs, the most recent photographs inside so the structure stayed pretty much intact and uh hey listen france is a resilient nation they'll they'll rebuild they'll get it back you know they'll they'll build it bigger and better but a lot of the art is gone a lot of the um a lot of history in this uh wonderful cathedral of uh, paris so what I wanted to do mostly is uh, talk about this here. So get rid of CNN, buy CNN. <laughs> so, so did Muslims? Did Muslims do it? Let's talk about it. People want to blame the Muslims already, right? Fucking hey, okay. oh Muslims! Countless churches throughout Western Europe are being vandalized, defecated on, and torched. This is news to me. Yesterday I didn't know this. Today I know it. Right? Thank you, Zero Hedge. In February, vandals desecrated and smashed crosses and statues at St. Alain Cathedral in Lavaux, France, and mangled the arms of a statue of a crucified Jesus in a mocking manner. In addition, an altar cross was burned. Altar cloth was burned. In France, two churches are desecrated every day on average, according to Pou News, a German news site. 1,063 attacks on Christian churches of symbols, crucifixions, icons, statues were registered in France in 2018. This represents 17% increase compared to the previous year when 878 attacks were registered. Wow. Meaning that such attacks are only going from bad to worse. Here's, a, here's an image. Ten Catholic churches across France attacked in one week. Someone, shit, it's, def, it's uh, feces. Someone, someone painted a cross with feces on the wall of a church. Right. Among some of the recent uh, desecrations in France, the following took place in February and March. Vandals uh, plundered Notre Dame Church and uh, used uh, human excrement to draw the cross. Okay, we just saw that. St. Nicholas Church in Hulaz was vandalized on three separate occasions in February. Um, 19th century statue of Virgin Mary regarded as irreputable, irreparable, uh, was completely pulverized, says a clergyman, and a uh, hanging cross was thrown to the floor. Vandals desecrated and smashed crosses and statues at St. Alan's Cathedral in Lavar and mangled the arms of a statue of crucified Christ in a mocking position. Arsonists torched the church of St. Sol Sol Sulpice in France soon after midday mass. Uh, so there's a pattern. Similar reports are coming uh, out of Germany. Four separate churches were vandalized and or torched in March alone. In this country, New uh, Pew News explained, there is a creeping war against everything that symbolizes Christianity. Attacks on mountain summit crosses, on sacred statues by the wayside, on churches, and recently also cemeteries. Who is, pr who is um, primarily behind these ongoing and cr increasing attacks on churches in Europe? The same, report, the same German report offers a hint. 
Just a hint. No, there's no suspects. Uh, no, there are suspects, but there's no incarcerated people. Crosses are broken, altars smashed, Bibles set on fire, baptismal f- uh, fonts overturned, and the church doors smeared with, quote, Islamic expressions like Allah Akbar, Allah, right? Allah Akbar, right? Jesus, Allah is great. Another German report from November 11, 2017, noted that in the Alps and Bavaria alone, around 200 churches were attacked and many crosses broken. Police are currently dealing with church desecration again and again. The, per- the perpetu- per- 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 perpetrators the perpetrators are often youthful rioters with migrant background. Everywhere else, everywhere they are described as, quote, young Islamists. Do we believe this report? I don't know. There's, there's, a mount, there's mounting evidence, so we'll just take it, as, take it at face value. Sometimes, sadly, in Europe, regions with large Muslim populations, there seems to be a concom- concomitant <laughs> rise. Use regular words, goddammit. Rise in attacks on churches and, and Christian symbols. Before Christmas 2016 in the north uh, region of Germany, where more than one million Muslims reside, some 50 public Christian statues, including one of Jesus, were beheaded and crucifixions broken. It's not very nice of them, right? So uh, what else? In 2016, following the arrival of Germany of another... In Germany, of another million mostly Muslim migrants, a local newspaper reported that in the town of Dulham, not a day goes by without attacks on religious statues in the town of less than 50,000 people and the immediate surrounding area. In France, it also seems that where the number of Muslim migrants, migrants increases, so do attacks on churches. A January 2017 study revealed that is Islam, Islamist, Islamist, extremists attack on Christ, on Christians in France rose by 38% going from 272 attacks 273 attacks in 2015 to 376 attacks in 2016 so 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 there's evidence right major attacks of vandalism overturned the broken overturned and broke two altars right broke stained glass windows Right, trampled on the U- U- Eucharist, Eucharist, right? an attack on Christianity. Hardly anyone writes and speaks about the increasing attacks on Christian symbols. There is an eloquent, eloquent silence in both France and Germany about the scandal of the desecrations and the origin of the per- perpetrators. Not a word, not even the slightest hint that could in any way lead to the suspicion of migrants. It is not the perpetrators who are in danger of being ostracized, but those who dare to associate the desecration of Christian symbols with immigrant imports. They are accused of hatred, hate speech, and racism. Oh. Oh, so that's what's going on. I didn't know that. Now we know it. Right? So, so, so there is a, a pattern there is suspicion, there is evidence, actual broken things, actual words uttered and smeared on walls that indicate a Muslim attack. So my apologies to the Yellow Vest community. My apologies for possibly jumping to the conclusion that maybe this was a fight against oligarchy when it really is a migrant, possibly a migrant uh, attack against Christianity. Right? Very, very possible. Also, uh, we don't know any of this to be true. We don't know that Notre Dame burned, right? The hunchback of Notre Dame. We don't know if the cathedral burned from arson. There isn't an open investigation. And um, but we'll see. We'll see. If there was an accelerant, they'll figure it out. It's not hard to figure out, right? Wood doesn't just burst into flames, right? Was it, okay, they're saying that there was some scaffolding and some work going on, but that doesn't eliminate someone's um, you know, from taking that job, someone's ability to take a job and stick a gas bomb in a, in a piece of equipment on the way out, right? There's also a rumor someone running across a roof was seen with a towel on their head. 
easy on that. Right? So let's let's let the French do their job. Let the investigators do their job, and tell us if this is arson or not. Marcus Conti reporting.